In this video, we're going to review some of the word problems that we've been introduced to during Chapter 4 on ratios. For all the word problems that we complete in this video, I'd like you to first pause the, vi pause the video and try the practice problem on your own, and then press play and watch me solve the problem out. So pause the video and try this one. Okay, let's go over the first problem. It says, Lara has three cats, Socks, Princess, and Luna. The ratio of Socks' weight to Princess's weight is four to five. The ratio of Princess's weight to Luna's weight is six to seven. What is the ratio of Socks' weight to Luna's weight? So in this problem, we're comparing two sets of ratios. So first we wanna write out our ratios. We have four to five, and we always wanna make sure we label. So that's Socks and Princess. And then we also have six to seven, and that's princess to Luna. So if you notice, princess is in both of the ratios. So we can compare all three cats by, making, by using equivalent ratios. So we can actually take the five and six of princess in both of them, and five and six both go into 30. So to get from 5 to 30, you would do times 6. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So 4 times 6 would give us 24. In the other ratio, to get from 6 to 30, you had to do times 5. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So 7 times 5 is 35. So now we can write out our new ratio, which is 24 and that's socks, 30, and that's princess, and then 35, which is Luna. The question says, what is the ratio of socks weight to Luna's weight? So our ratio would be 24 to 35. Sorry. Okay, now pause the video and try this practice problem on your own. Okay, let's go over the problem. It says Gina has a box of red, blue, and green markers. The ratio of the number of red markers to the number of blue markers is 5 to 2. The ratio of the number of blue markers to the number of green markers is 3 to 5. What is the ratio of the number of red markers to the number of green markers? So again, we're comparing two sets of quantities. So we're going to write out our ratios. We have 5 to 2. Always make sure you label. So we have red, and that's blue. And then the other ratio is 3 to 5. And that's blue and green. So we notice that blue is in both of the ratios, so we can use equivalent ratios to compare these. So both two and three go into the number six. To get from two to six, you do two times three. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So our five would become 15. To get from three to six, you had to do times two. So five times two give you 10. We'll write out our new ratio, 15, and that's red, to 6, and that's blue, to 10, which is green. So the question says, what is the ratio of the number of red markers to the number of green markers? So our ratio would be 15 to 10. Now I want you to pause the video and try this practice problem on your own. Okay, let's go over the problem. It says the ratio of Abby's height to Luke's height is five to four. How many times Luke's height is Abby's height? So we're comparing Luke and Abby. It says, how many times Luke's height is Abby's height? So Abby would go on top, so at 
5 to 4, Abby to Luke. So we would have Abby, which is 5, and Luke, which is 4. You want to make sure you simplify. So 4 goes into 5 one time with 1 out of 4 left over. So 1 and 1 fourth times. So we can say that Abby is 1 and 1 fourth times Luke's height. Okay, now make the video and try this practice problem on your own. Okay, let's go over the problem. The problem says the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in the hiking club is 5 to 7. There are 10 more girls in the hiking club. How many children are in the hiking club? So for this one, we want to draw a bar model to represent our ratio. So we have 5 to 7. And we want to make sure we label that's boys to girls. There are 10 more girls in the hiking club, so that means that these two extra pieces would represent the 10 extra girls. That means that each of them equals 5. So every piece in our bar model would equal 5. So now that we have completed our bar model, we can answer the question, which is how many children are in the hiking club. So that would be the total. If every piece equals 5, and there are 5 pieces for the boys, then that means there's 25 boys, and there would be 35 girls. Add them together. 5 plus 5 is 10. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So there are 60 children in the hiking club. Okay, pause the video and try this one on your own. This one is a before and after ratio word problem. Okay, let's go over the problem. It says the ratio of the number of newspapers Joshua sold to the number of newspapers Ron sold is 5 to 3. After Ron sold 28 more newspapers in the evening, the ratio became 10 to 13. So we want to draw out our original ratio, which is 5 to 3. And make sure we label, so that's Joshua to Ron. Then it says Ron sold 28 more. So since Joshua didn't sell anymore, we can't change the size of his bar. But his pieces went from 5 pieces to 10 pieces. So we need to split each of them in half. And now without changing the size of the bar, we went from 5 pieces to 10 pieces. But if we, do, if we split those ones in half, we also have to split Ron's in half. So the second ratio is supposed to be 10 to 13. Well, for Joshua, we now have 10 pieces, but for Ron, we need to try to get him to 10 pieces. So since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we need to add 7 more pieces to make that equal 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The extra pieces that we added on would represent the 28 extra newspapers that he sold. So now we need to find out e how much each piece of the bar equals. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces that equal 28, which means each of the pieces would have to equal 4. So every piece of the bar model equals 4. Now that we completed the bar model, we can answer our questions. So part A says, how many newspapers did Joshua sell? Well, if every piece equals 4, and Joshua has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces, that means Joshua 
it has 4 times 10, so Joshua has 40. For part B, it says how many newspapers did Ron sell? So Ron has a total of 13 pieces, so you'd have to do 13 times 4, and that equals 52. So Ron sold 52 newspapers. Okay, pause the video and try another before and after word problem. Okay, let's go over the problem. It says the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls in a dance club is 5 to 6. After six more boys joined the club, the ratio became 13 to 12. So we want to draw out our original ratio. We want to make sure we label so we have boys to girls. So after six more boys joined, the ratio became 13 to 12. So nothing happened with the girls, so we can't change the size of the girls' bar model, but their pieces went from six pieces to 12. So we need to figure out how to change the girls from six pieces to 12 without changing the actual size of their bar model. So what we can do is split each piece in half. So now we have 12 pieces, and we didn't change the size of the bar. So 12 pieces for the girls, but if we split those in half, we have to split everyone in half for the boys. And the boys are supposed to have 13 pieces. Right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which means we need to add on 3 more pieces. The 3 pieces that we added on represent the 6 boys that joined the club. So if the three pieces together equal six, then that means each of them have to equal two. That means all of our pieces in our bar model would equal two. So now that we complete our bar model, we can start to answer the questions. Part A says how many members of the club are girls. So we go to the girls portion of the bar model and there are 12 pieces. If each piece equals 2, so then you would do 12 times 2 which equals 24 girls. Part B says how many boys are members of the club in the end? Well there are 13 pieces and each piece equals 2, so 13 times 2 would equal 26 boys.